Hey, Mike here with East Coast Lumen Outpost. I wanted to make a video today uh, going over different types of triple and quad emitter LED flashlights. Uh, these are some of my favorite lights that are on the market. Uh, there's something that's just cool to me about these lights that have multiple LED bulbs. And a lot of them have some other special features. Um, the other cool thing is a lot of these are just super bright. Um, they're some of my favorites. They're customizable uh, and some of the brightest out there. So what I want to do first is go over kind of the precursor to these multiple LED flashlights. And this goes back maybe 10 to 15 years ago. Um, these first flashlights... Uh, this is when LED flashlights were finally overcoming like incandescent bulbs and they were brighter and just better. Uh, there's a couple companies. Uh, this company is Coast. Uh, also, there's a company called LED Lenser. Uh, and then also there's another company called Innova. And what they brought to market was uh, the very first flashlights that had multiple LEDs. And these were just significantly brighter than the other ones that were on the market. Uh, this one is LED Lenser, and this one, while it's not a triple or a quad, it does have five LEDs in it. Um, and it was just so impressive back in the day seeing a flashlight that's this size, uh, but that put out this much light. Uh, this was putting out more than uh, like the big uh, Stinger flashlights uh, in the automotive industry. Uh, the best flashlight you could get back in the day was a Streamlight Stinger. It was incandescent, it had a xenon bulb, and it was pretty bright. But something this small was outperforming uh, that flashlight back in the day. Uh, so this is kind of the precursor to the multiple LED uh, light bulbs. This is just another example. This company is called Innova. Uh, this company is actually one of my favorite companies on the market. Um, they still make some good lights, but even their old ones are, are just so well built. Uh, this was another one that was so bright. This is probably 12, 13 years ago. Uh, and for its day, it was just outperforming the competition. Uh, so to bring it into like the modern era of LED flashlights, uh, first I'll go over a couple companies that really have this uh, process of multiple emitters down and they're doing a really good job the first company i want to talk about is ace beam uh, this is one of my favorite flashlight companies just because the product that they make is of a very high quality and they look really nice and a lot of times they have a really cool uh, like copper and black uh, like colorway um, and it, it's just put together very nice uh, most of their lights are rechargeable. Uh, this one, for instance, the recharger is built into the battery. Uh, and this flashlight here, it's called the Ace Beam TK16. And this thing puts out 1,800 lumen um, out of three bulbs and something that's, you know, only a little bit bigger than half of my finger. So super bright, really nice. Ace Beam has got it down and a couple other examples of some nice Ace Beam multiple optic flashlights. This is called the Ace Beam H17. Uh, this is a headlamp. I'll never use this as like a headlamp. I bought it just because it looks so nice with the copper and the black. Uh, it has three XPL LED chips inside. Uh, runs off of a uh, 18350 rechargeable battery has a nice user interface, and again, super bright for a tiny little light. This one is one of my favorites. I had gifted this flashlight to a friend and rebought it. It's called the TK17, and what's special to me about this flashlight is just how awesome it looks. It has such a nice fit and finish, the texture on it, uh, the design language that Ace Beam used to put this flashlight together. 
uh, the copper bezel, copper clip, everything about it is put together so nice and it's incredibly bright. This one puts out 2300 lumens. It's also using a rechargeable 18350 battery. And then this flashlight here, this is called the Ace Beam TK18. This is an all copper flashlight, puts out 300 lumen. It uses a Samsung uh, light bulb, uh, has three of them in there. Uh, this one uses a 21700 battery. Uh, this is one of the first flashlights I got that used that battery. The nice thing about the 21700 is it's a high power, high amperage battery but it has a very high run time uh, because it could essentially just hold more uh, power in the battery. Now we're gonna move over to pro possibly my favorite brand of flashlight. Uh, the company is called MSR uh, and uh, it's ran by a gentleman named Hank and his lights, uh, they're just something special. Uh, MSR really, really got popular in the flashlight community uh, with this particular flashlight. It's called a MSR D4. This is just the original MSR D4. Uh, it uses uh, like a software built into the light. It's called Adrunil and Basically, the way that it works, like the user interface is, it's like super customizable. Right now, I have it on like tactical mode where it's just hit the button, it's on, release the button, it's off. It also has ramping configuration where you just hold the button. And it's infinitely variable as far as the brightness. Uh, this is a 5,000 Kelvin XPL high emitters. And with these Hank lights, uh, these MSR lights, basically how much lumens they put out depends on the battery that's in there. If you get a really high quality battery and you put it in one of these MSR lights, you're going to get higher output. Uh, it will literally take advantage of the power that you put in there. Uh, a lot of other flashlights have safety features which will limit the output. It will limit the lumens. But these MSR lights, they will take as much power as you could give them. Uh, this one tops out at 4300 lumen. And this is enough to set fire. It will burn you. Uh, it's a very, very impressive and powerful light. Another of the original MSR D4 lights is this little titanium one. This uses a high output 18350 cell. But I also have several different extension tubes that will let it use an 18650 as well. Uh, the cool thing about these MSR lights is if you get several of them, the parts are like swappable, so you could kind of make your own design. You could put different heads on different bodies, on different tail caps. Uh, you know, you could transform them and kind of play with it that way. Uh, it's a very fun collection when you get into these MSR lights. This is a 6500K XPL high emitter in this. Now, with the MSR D4, the version 2 gave you a couple different uh, like new options. Uh, it has auxiliary LEDs inside which give you a ton of cool colors. You could customize the colors and then they also give you a lighted switch uh, and it just makes it like a very pretty you know light. It's almost like a piece of jewelry. Uh, this one I got from JL Hawaii, uh, who is known for being, uh, you know, a seller of a lot of these cool flashlights. And this one 
is a deep green LED. And this thing gets super bright. And the LED, like the color of the LED is green, uh, which is just not, you know, standard. It, I wanted something a little different. So I went with the green with this one. The next one for these MSRs, this is a solid brass MSR D4V2, and it has the same auxiliary LEDs, the same lighted switch. Uh, this uses a deep red LED, and I've never seen red light that is so bright. Uh, it is just as hot and just as bright as any of these other MSRs. Uh, but the light that comes out of this is a real deep, deep red. Uh, this one is so cool. It's so heavy. It has such a nice patina. Now, this is called the D4S. And essentially, it is the same as the original D4, but this flashlight takes a 26 650 battery uh, so it's a much heavier bigger battery that goes in this which gives you a little bit more power and a lot more runtime. Uh, this is when the MSR lights first started using the auxiliary LEDs uh, so this one you get that cool green uh, but it's not able to switch colors like the other ones This flashlight is called the MSR DT8, and it's like a dual quad LED array. I got 2,700 Kelvin bulbs in this one, so it's a very warm tint. And this is just so impressive, the amount of light, the wall of light that comes out of this. And it's small for a light that is so bright. Uh, the aesthetics of this light is so cool. I think this flashlight would be such an awesome gift uh, to give to like another dude or someone in the automotive industry. Uh, a light like this is so impressive and it is just not typical. You don't see something like this every day. Definitely one of my favorites. And then to wrap up with the MSR lights, this is called the KR4. Uh, now, this light is actually uh, called a noctagon, uh, but essentially it is still an MSR light. Uh, it still comes from Hank. Uh, it still uses all of the same features, but it's a tail switch. Uh, I got this from JL Hawaii. Uh, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, also customizable, you can get different tube lengths. Uh, I have an 18350 tube that I use with this sometimes. Uh, it still has the auxiliary LEDs. Uh, and then this one also has some spots for like some tritium vials, which is tight. I put a green tritium in the bottom of this. Um, it's hard to see, but at nighttime, uh, it will light up and there's no need to charge the tritium. Uh, it's actually, uh, I believe it's like a nuclear reaction uh, that that tritium has. Now for a, a couple custom lights that I really love. This is called the Mech Force. And some people consider this like a high-end custom LED flashlight. Uh, it uses... It's called a Dr. Jones driver. That's essentially like the firmware in the light. Uh, and it's very customizable. You could have different outputs. Uh, you could have different uh, like UI uh, modes. Uh, and then it uses a turbo glow insert uh, that gets like super bright for a long time. If you could pick one of these up, it's a very, very cool light especially if you want to get into like the custom flashlight uh, collection without spending a ton of money. Uh, something like this you could get around 150 to 200 bucks 
Uh, usually around like 150 bucks if you find one used. I got this one new for 200 and it's just a very well-rounded, you know, very nice looking flashlight. Now this is one of my favorites. This flashlight company, I believe it does not have a name. I don't know what this thing is called, but I found it on eBay. Uh, and what I think it is, I think it's just a guy in China that makes these custom flashlights. It's very similar to the MSR lights. Uh, it has a tail switch. It has a ton of different user modes. Uh, it's semi-customizable. And this has almost like a faux Damascus uh, kind of zebra print anodized into the titanium. This flashlight is super cool. I was kind of hesitant when I ordered it because it was pretty expensive uh, and I had to wait quite a while for it to come in. But when it did come in, it exceeded my expectations. Uh, this flashlight is awesome. I think I just searched for titanium custom flashlights on eBay and this is one of the ones that came up. Again, I was hesitant when I ordered it, but I'm super glad that I did. It's very, very high quality. Even when you tighten down the head of the flashlight, all of that zebra stripe lines up. Another one that I love is this. It's called the Nywalker ES3. And this is like just a weird monster flashlight. Uh, this puts out over 11,000 lumen, and it's a triple, triple LED flashlight. Super bright wall of light. And the cool thing about this is, if I could get it to do it, There we go. You can configure this light with different heads. And you can pick which head or combination of heads you want to use. So if you wanted all the same head, which I have on this, to get just a solid, steady wall of light, you can do that. If you wanted, uh, you know, a head with a 6,500 Kelvin, 3,000 Kelvin, and then infrared, you could do that. It's just super tight how customizable this particular flashlight is. Has an easy user interface. Has a couple spots for tritium vials. Rechargeable. And these heads just screw off. And then you could buy new heads. And they're pretty inexpensive you know pretty reasonable as far as the price of the different heads that you could put on um, i'm thinking about getting uh, some ultraviolet heads to put on this uh, maybe do like a combo now i'm gonna wrap things up uh, i guess i'll go into the night core flashlights first uh, night core is one of my favorite companies they're kind of mainstream but they just make an awesome product very consistent every time. This is called the Nightcore P10iX. And this is just like a flood beam of light. It has very little throw, but this will light up the side of a house. It'll light up a room. It's 4400 lumen, XPL high LED chips, rechargeable. And it's just an awesome compact flashlight. Um, also, the cool thing about these night core lights is some of them you can get like custom tail switches for. Uh, that's what I did with this one. And basically all, all it does, it was about 15 bucks and you could put a tail switch on here that will light up, give you different signal lights, different colors. This one goes from like blue to red to green, or you can have flashing blue or flashing red, flashing green. And it's just a cool way uh, to customize, like, a Nightcore flashlight. This is another, uh, I believe this is 2700 lumens uh, headlamp 
HC35 from Nightcore, rechargeable, has four LEDs, pretty beefy, uses a 21700 battery, um, and then this is just another awesome flashlight, super bright, wall of light, very floody. What we got here is the Nightcore i4000R, and this is a quad LED chip. They're sunken down pretty deep into the reflector, so this actually has a decent amount of throw. Another cool thing about these Nightcore lights is the switch that they use. Um, it has like a main button and then right next to it's like a mode button where you could switch your modes. And then you could also instant turbo with that mode button or instant strobe rather. So this is like a nice tactical light. You know, say you're a police officer, you had to disorient someone. Hit them with that strobe, especially at night. It's going to be hard for anyone to concentrate with that in their eyes. All right, now on to Lumen Top. This is one of my favorite companies. This flashlight was so impressive. It's called the FWAA, and it runs uh, just a 14500 battery, uh, which is the size of a double A. Um, this thing puts out, it's rated for 1200 lumens, but I'm thinking it's closer to like 2,000 lumens, especially with a very high output LE or high output battery. It uses the same software as the MSRs, where it's customizable, you get that ramping. And it comes in a bunch of different options. This one's the full titanium, uh, super impressive little light, real tiny, fits in a shirt pocket. This company is called Amu Torch, and uh, this flashlight runs three of the Nichia LEDs. I believe it puts out 2300 lumens or 2500 lumens and runs a weird little battery. Uh, it runs like a stubby little 26300 battery, I think. 26350, possibly. It's stubby, but it's tiny and puts out a nice wall of light. Astrolux is one of those companies that uh, I think there is an OEM uh, maker and then they get badged by different companies like Astrolux or Manker uh, or Mate Minko. Um, all have similar lights to this black with the copper. Uh, bezel. Nice little cheap light. I don't think this one has a battery in it right now, uh, but you could usually get one of these for about 30 bucks. Puts out about 300 or 3,000 lumens. One of my favorite companies uh, right here, it's called Mech Army. Now, this Mech Army light I believe came out before most of these. This thing is pretty old. Stainless steel. Puts out about 2,000 lumens. Uh, and it uses four LEDs. And just really awesome quality. The fit and finish of this one is really nice. Really nice uh, clip, belt clip. Cool looking, awesome addition to the collection. Right here we got Jetbeam RRT, which is rapid response. So this has like a magnetic ring that you could do your different positions. Uses three XPG LEDs, 1400 lumens. But you also get your blue red, 
green, and then police. So this is really just a nice, uh, well-rounded light. I actually use this one for work. Uh, I would use the blue light uh, kind of as like a UV light to look for uh, UV dye. Uh, and it's just a cool kind of fidget spinner, you know, fidget toy flashlight. Uh, something fun just to click around in your pocket. We got the O-Light. Out of all of these flashlights, if something was built like a tank, it's this O-Light. It's just heavy, slightly bulky, but it, it is just built so so well. O-Light over the years, especially with their newer flashlights, put a lot of attention into their products. Even just the finish on this, it's almost like that you know, grippy rubber coating, uh, but it's not. It's just the way the metal is worked. Uh, this is called the Seeker 2, um, and a lot of times you can get a flashlight like this. Uh, I actually got this one for free on Olight Store. It was part of like a bundle, uh, and they threw this in for free, which is crazy because of the quality of this light. If you wanted to get into like a high output flashlight, this company is called Sofern. You get these on Amazon. This flashlight on sale I got for $30. It puts out 4,000 lumens. Incredibly bright. This runs the SST20 LED chip. Runs four of them. Rechargeable. Built very nice, runs a 21700 battery, will last a long time. This is a good flashlight for work uh, as a technician or a contractor. You know, just really nice and easy to get into. The price is right on this Sofern flashlight. And then the last one I'm going to show you is a classic. It's called a 4.7s Maelstrom This flashlight I've had probably close to seven, eight years. I used it at work for a while. It got soaked in battery acid, dropped, beaten up, but it has always still worked with the original battery. This runs three XML LEDs, and it's one of the first super bright triple optic flashlights on the market uh, so impressive for the time when this came out uh, has a customizable user interface rechargeable uh, mini usb the bezel unscrews uh, so it keeps it you know dust free when you're not charging it uh, just an awesome well-rounded light even to this day i hope uh, four seven puts out some more lights like this I know they're not owned by the same company or the original company, but an update of this light with kind of the same features and bulk would be phenomenal. That's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, thank you guys. If anyone out there has made it through the whole video watching this, I appreciate it. Uh, I'd like to put out maybe one or two videos a week highlighting different types of flashlights. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, you know, leave them down below and have a great day. Thank you.